So what do you think about what's going on? Well, in response to the mass shooting, just as the media is directing me to, I'd like to jump to the conclusion that we should ban all guns before I have a chance to think about how that only affects law-abiding citizens while doing nothing to address the underlying cause of mental illness and evil behind mass shootings. Yeah, I think we should ban guns too. Yes, it would make a lot of sense to have people with guns take our guns. But sometimes I think- Whoa, wait a minute there, extremist. Just hear me out. Sometimes I think if they want to outlaw guns in order to prevent murder, why don't they just- outlaw murder they already have and the criminals still break the law they do then are we sure the criminals that break the law would be willing to just obey a new law about guns i think we're supposed to just think so i mean i can only assume that someone who's willing to murder another person would probably have a moral compass that says hey killing a person is great and all but possessing an object i'm not supposed to that's just crossing a line not going to do it. Makes sense when we look at it through the lens of that very limited, unlikely perspective. Sure does. Instead of waiting for the leftists who politicize the tragic loss of life to convince the media, to convince the masses, to convince the government to confiscate our guns, maybe we should just voluntarily turn in our guns. Yes, and maybe we should turn in all our food and private property rights too, just to be safe. I'm pretty sure that's already in process. You know, one alternative theory to what the media is telling us- Whoa, hold it right there, extremist! Good point, but just stay with me for a second on this one. One theory is that power-hungry authoritarians use PSYOP programs like MKUltra to program mentally unstable people to do mass shootings so the authoritarians can then politicize them and justify to the public why guns are being taken. And then they have total tyrannical control over citizens who cannot defend themselves against them. Okay, Mr. Tinfoil Hat. Now, PSYOPs and MK Ultra might be proven programs that the government has used, but they're just conspiracy theories. You think so? Yeah, I think calling those realities conspiracy theories as their subjects that I do not understand is a viable way of engaging in intellectual discourse about them so that I don't have to do any research beyond the current level of knowledge that I already have. I'd also like to discount those realities as conspiracy theories because it's just easier than starting the journey of learning about what I don't currently know about. And by being unwilling to learn about anything new, that's how we grow more certain of ourselves. Hey, what's your favorite conspiracy theory? Calculus. I don't know anything about it, and I feel completely unwilling to learn. What about you? The clitoris is my favorite conspiracy theory. I've never found one, and I have no ambition to learn where they actually exist at. Well, in addition to claiming they don't exist, I speculate that one day they'll find them on pregnant men somewhere. But do you know what doesn't sit well with me? Um... I don't know, like the stone cold hard reality of XY chromosomes and double X chromosomes? Also a conspiracy theory, so no. But it's just that if authoritarians with guns keep telling us that guns are so bad, why do they need guns? I mean, probably just so they can use them. True. But have you ever heard of history? I don't read books, I just burn them. Thank you for your censorship. But. I accidentally learned about history once, and when I did, I learned that only tyrannical regimes disarm their populations. And when they do, those governments inflict terrible control, violence, and killing onto their now disarmed populations. For example, well, for example, in 1911, Turkey established gun control. And then from 1915 to 1917, 1.5 million Armenians now unable to defend themselves, were rounded up and exterminated. And in 1929, the Soviet Union established gun control. Then from 1929 to 1953, 20 million people, unable to defend themselves, were rounded up and exterminated. What do you mean, exterminated? Murdered. Oh, well, those are just two examples. And China established gun control in 1935. Then from 1948 to 1952, 20 million political dissidents, unable to defend themselves, were rounded up and killed. Oh, and the people in China still exist under a brutal regime today. Oh, wait a minute. Germany also established gun control in 1938. And then from 1939 to 1945, 13 million Jews and others who were unable to defend themselves were rounded up and exterminated. Huh. I wonder if Hitler purposely disarmed the population so he could tyrannically take over and kill all people opposed to him. It's probably just a coincidence. But also Cambodia established gun control in 1956. Then from 1975 to 1977, one million educated people were rounded up and killed. 
because they were unable to defend themselves. Is my shirt on straight? Yep, good. In Guatemala established gun control in 1964, then from 1964 to 1981, 100,000 Mayan Indians unable to defend themselves were rounded up and exterminated. Oh, and it's probably not significant, but Uganda established gun control in 1970, then from 1971 to 1979, 300,000 Christians unable to defend themselves were rounded up and exterminated. 56 million people rounded up and exterminated in the 20th century because of gun control? Yeah, apparently. <laughs> but that could never happen here. Yeah, that's what all those people throughout history said. But it couldn't ever really happen here. They said that too. But seriously, I mean, that couldn't ever really happen here. Oh, well, when you put it like that, I'm convinced. Yeah, and besides, the authoritarians that want to ban guns in our country are saying it's for our protection. I can only assume that in all those authoritarian regimes that you mentioned that did all the killing, that they had a different honest message for their populations about why they were being disarmed. You think? Yeah, it was probably something like, Hey, we're gonna take all your guns so that we can control every aspect of your life and easily kill those of you who don't comply. No, it says here all those regimes also had a we're banning guns for your protection type of messaging too. <laughs> don't be a conspiracy theorist. Another good point. Then that means this history book must be inaccurate because it reveals a pattern that's currently unfolding in this country that's uncomfortable to think about. Exactly, that's totally false. We should 100% turn in all our guns, like ban them all. Yeah, I feel the coercion to agree with you. But do you think an even better idea could be that if the authoritarians with guns turn in their guns first and then we the people turn in our guns? No, it just feels easier to trust the people that we know lie to us on a consistent basis. Hmm, just imagine how much better off we'll be without the only constitutional right that allows us to protect ourselves. Yeah, and if history has taught us anything, which it hasn't, it's that banning guns will work out much differently this time. Yep. Can't wait.